The go back command lets you navigate to previous cursor positions in a file or through previously opened files in a project. Now to demonstrate this command, first I need to set up some history. So I'm going to start here on the navigate backwards action class. Let's scroll up in this file a little bit and go click inside the open first editor and group class. Find another class here. So open previous editor. Now let's go open a separate file. So I'm just setting up some editing history here. Let's go over to editor. And now I'm going to scroll down in this file a little bit. We'll do default editor part options here. And then finally, this interface down here as the ending point. So now we have an editor history where I've been clicking through these different files. And I can use the go back command to actually navigate to these previous positions. So let's open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P. And I can then run go back. So you can see here that I have the go back command and then there's a key binding available for it as well. So when I run go back here, you can see that sure enough, it has navigated to the previous cursor position in this file. Now the key binding for go back is control minus on Mac. On Windows, it would be Alt and then the left arrow key. So I'm going to just do the key binding now. So do Control minus on Mac or Alt left arrow key. And you can see that it is now navigated to the top of this file, which we opened up. Now, if I use the go back command again, it will actually navigate back into the previous file, into the previous class we were looking at. You can just press it a couple more times and then go back to the original starting position um, where we started the navigation from. Now, as you would expect, there's also a go forward command, and this is used after you've used the go back command to navigate forwards through the history. So let's open the command palette again with control shift P or command shift P and say go forward. And you can see that sure enough, it is now navigated back forward to the class that I had navigated to originally. Now, the key binding for go forward on Mac, it would be control shift and then the um, minus sign. On Windows, it would be the alt key and then the right arrow key. So I'm just going to use the key bindings for this. And I can navigate forward through my project up into this other file again and just use go back and go forward to navigate through my entire editing history just like that. So that's a quick look at the go back and go forward commands in VS Code. They can be really helpful when you're wanting to navigate to somewhere you've been previously working in a file or when you want to navigate through previously open files in a project.